pyrolytic shellfish poisoning toxins extraction and sample preparation. The toxin extraction should be performed in a wet laboratory. You will need the following reagents, materials, and equipment. 1. Scissors, scalpels, spatula, and steering rod. 2. Top loading balance. 3. Beakers, centrifuge tubes with 50 milliliters total volume capacity. 4. Homogenizer. 5. pH paper. 6. Hot plate. 7. Pipeters. 8. 0.1 molar hydrochloric acid solution and 0.1 molar sodium hydroxide solution. Prepare the solutions following the standard protocol for handling of chemicals. 9. Centrifuge. Procedure. To extract the saxitoxin from shellfish samples, collect all samples to be analyzed, noting all individual dimensions, like the total shellfish weight, shellfish meat weight, and shellfish shell length. Shuck shellfish to obtain approximately 100 grams of meat. Drain on a sieve and homogenize for three minutes using a blender or a homogenizer. Accurately weigh five grams shellfish meat into a tarred 50 milliliters conical tube. Excess homogenate may be stored frozen at negative 20 degrees Celsius. Add five milliliters of one-tenth or 0.1 molar hydrochloric acid into the homogenate and stir thoroughly. Use a vortex mixer when necessary. Then check the pH. Take note that the pH should be between 3 and 4. It is important to have the pH within that range since saxitoxin is inactive in basic solution. When the desired pH is achieved, boil the mixture gently for five minutes using a water bath. Make sure the cap of the conical tube is loosened. Allow the mixture to cool down to room temperature. Then check again the pH. The pH should still be within the desired range Adjust the pH, if necessary, following the same step demonstrated earlier. Transfer entire contents to graduated cylinders and dilute volumetrically to 10 milliliters. Gently stir contents to homogeneity and allow to settle until portion of supernatant is translucent and can be decanted free of solid particles. Centrifuge at 3000 relative centrifugal force, denoted as G, or in higher value for 10 minutes. Retain clarified supernatant and transfer to a clean centrifuge tube. Store extracts at negative 20 degrees Celsius until tested with receptor binding assay.